we do believe that, you know, the business glossary, uh, kind of a data request report process, often folks on this functional information, system agnostic information, which is really important. Um, the data catalog stuff that you might hear about focuses on very technical information or system specific information, right? So here you've got your business glossary with functional technical definitions and your uh, data system catalog with system details, technical data models, tagging, like, you know, essentially the information is coming from, from, from those, those, those data systems and then overlaying it with, with tags, right? So the, uh, you know, there are parts of your organization that are very focused on these things and parts of your organization that are very focused on these things. So bringing these things together all, it creates an enormous amount of value. And part of that might be thinking like, I'm gonna pull these technical definitions out of just my narrative business glossary. And the technical definition is saying like, I've got a definition for what you know, active student is. And I say, oh, in our data warehouse, active student is you know, in this table, in this field or whatever. And, and you might just have a narrative description of that, you know, explaining what someone should do in a, in a text box, right? But what we wanna do is to pull that out and basically say, hey, we can actually point that to the data system catalog and say, you know what, it actually lives in this particular field. So if you've got that documentation, if you've got that metadata somewhere in your, your, your data governance repository, it makes it a lot easier to write data, data technical definitions. Also, the flip side of that is that you know, if someone's trying to supplement their, you know, documentation of their data warehouse or their ERP system or whatever, um, and they're writing kind of an explanation about what these fields are, if it is related to a business glossary term, you know, having this link can be really useful in the other direction as well. So these, po and the other thing is policy attributes. So adding your security, the, you know, this is often a big need. Your data access, you know, steps and rules, security classification, privacy codes, data sharing agreements, retention policy, data retention policies, and those things. That, that these are things that can be associated with glossary, but also to, associated with data system catalog. So you don't necessarily have to have a glossary entry for some data field in, in one of the databases. You can just sort of put that attribute on that data field directly. But if you do have a glossary entry, you can also have it there, which is important. So these two things become really useful. And, and so the, the, the point again of starting with the data system catalog, and, and this might be a little flip, but we've, and this is, I, I admit to like a change in my thinking about this, because we used to think and, and promote start with business glossary, grow into the other things. But the reality is that a business glossary takes a lot of time and effort to develop, but a data catalog with the right tools is something that can be done really quickly. And frankly, you know, a data catalog is kind of non-controversial. You know, um, whatever your priorities are, if they're related to quality or privacy or security, having a data catalog content will help serve that. You know, glossary as well to a certain point, but the data catalog is really easy to come in. So, so when I think about it, there's a high return on investment on that. Um, now what we hear from, from IR folks or folks that have sort of started with business glossary and these things, it's like, you know, that technical stuff is hard. We wanna just start with this and then we'll add technical later. I get it, but you know, I'm gonna challenge you and say like, is it though, is it really that hard? Like what might be hard is just, you know, the communication and the adoption and the involvement of these IT folks, but understand now, that what's different than maybe four or five years ago is that these people are looking for data catalog tools. And if you can get them to know that your concept of data governance is inclusive of their data catalog interest, and you can help them solve that problem in something that works with your solution, it's gonna be great. And also you might discover that frankly, this data catalog stuff is a lot easier than you thought, even easier than your glossary thing. So I, my, recent kind of comparison here for catalog versus glossary is that you think of the catalog information as like your blood pressure or your breathing, right? This is something that exists within your organization without having to think about it. You know, you have bought this ERP system from this vendor. You bought this CRM from this vendor. Your BI team has developed this data warehouse, right? There's all this content that's there, right? And just a little bit of technical details to like connect that, that content up, you can consume that. So your data catalog content takes a small amount of technical setup, like this automatic blood pressure monitoring thing, but someone doesn't have to think about what my blood pressure is and, and consult with five different people on what their blood pressure is. It, the blood pressure is what the blood pressure is. So if you've got this thing that monitors that, it can pull that information in and have it run automatically and be updated on a regular basis. You can tell if someone's about to lose their mind because their blood pressure is crazy, but you don't have to ask them, it's just something that happens automatically. And that's kind of what data catalog information can do. Um, now, glossary content or other things, this is more like an art, 
right? So it requires orchestration, collaboration, and ongoing human effort. You're making decisions. You're, 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 you're thinking of, you know, very, um, you know, well described definitions of things that are very specific and, and getting agreement from your whole organization. So, you know, done right, it's a beautiful thing and it, it's very powerful, but it's, but it's high effort. And, and frankly, it's actually, it's benefited by the information in the catalog. So um, while glossary is important, and I'm not saying don't do glossary, there is a real value to these things at the same time. And if you've only been focusing on glossary and maybe hit a dead end because you know what, you're, you're out of energy to make a new painting or to orchestrate your, you know, your, your, your flute section is, <laughs> is on, uh, on strike or whatever. Like, you know, this, this is where uh, bringing this catalog information can really uh, 